Uh, and now I'm going to perform an initiation. Um, I guess I'm going to be sitting here. And, and it's going to be um, um, sort of uh, finalized with a fire jugget that takes place be around 3 o'clock. It's, it's going to be further sanctified. This is just the, the uh, giving of beads and the pronun pronunciation of names. Um, I'm going to ask Emma, if you can sit here, who is going to take initiation today, um, to recite the four regulator principles to me. But in addition to the four regulator principles, I'm going to read out some additional, they're not exactly vows, they're more like promises. You can sit over there. They're more like promises that you make in front of the deities, the guru and the Vaishnavas, uh, and Prabhupada. But they're, they're sort of like vows. And, the, and they, they read like this. To, one is to stay in, support, stand by, and never leave ISKCON. Now, what is ISKCON? I want to define that a little bit because the discussion has gone on for quite some time about what is a member. Are, are we carrying a card like some traditions do, and you have to put the card in a turnstile to go in the inner sanctum of some temples or churches? Uh, so what is a member? And uh, there's different types of members. There's grade A members, people that... that uh, go out and preach, and they're on the front lines all the time. They're uh, soldiers in the, in the uh, fight against Maya. They're, that, that, that's a, a type of member. And there's another type of member that uh, doesn't preach so much, but uh, for different reasons, for age and for, uh, for inability or in invalidity. There's some people that just can't do it. They worship deities, uh, and they also think that uh, they believe in the philosophy of Krishna consciousness which is a chincha beta, beta tattva, that, I'm, that there's a, a, such a thing as a simultaneously inconceivable, that's what a chincha means, for those of you who don't know, inconceivably one and different. So someone who believes in that philosophy is, is a type of a member. So um, someone who, who, and, and, and who worships the deity at home is still a member of Krishna consciousness. So what is a member? It's not someone who carries a card or a certificate saying that I'm, I'm a member. It's, but it's also one who, who uh, uh, says and writes that, yes, I'm a member. Sometimes uh, devotees are confronted by people of other persuasions or other Vaishnavas, and they say that they're, they're proud to be a member of ISKCON. So that's, that's one of the promises that, I ask, that I'm going to ask uh, Emma <laughs> to make today. Another is to read Srila Prabhupada's books regularly. Um, the, the, the books are, the, the, the core books are Bhagavad Gita, uh, as it is, Srimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Te Tamrita, Nectar Devotion, and maybe Sri Isha Upanishad, to read them at least three times in the next seven years, at least 30 pages every day, uh, or the electronic version of 30 pages. It's not always pages, but they're, they're, they're sometimes screenfuls, but that's a promise. Another one is to generally follow the instructions and accept the advice and counsel as far as possible of our immediate ISKCON authorities. I know it's not always possible, but one should try. Um, and one who is a member also considers that Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati is, is my ultimate Shiksha Guru. I'm, I'm reading books of Prabhupada, but they were inspired by Bhakti Siddhanta. So I consider him not just another sadhu, but, but my uh, uh, original Shiksha Guru. And lastly, one should always wear tilak, a visible tilak, uh, uh, on the forehead, in public and other places. Of course, there are exceptions, uh, uh, and the highly exceptional cases, such as like in a, in a predominantly anti-Hindu country, uh, like in, in the Middle East or some other places where, where that is, is, is very much um, frowned upon, that uh, one can, can do these things. So there are exceptions, but in general, one should wear a, tila, a visible tilak on the forehead. So, uh, so I want to ask uh, Emma, first of all, uh, what, what are, are the four regular principles? No meat eating, no fish or eggs, no intoxication, no gambling, and no illicit sex. And, uh, very good, and how many rounds to chant each day? I will chant a minimum of 16 rounds each day. And do you agree to the, the uh, promises that I, that I read out? Yes, Maharaj, I agree. <laughs> Very good. 
So I, I'm going to give you your beads and your name. Your name, you can reach out with your right hand, is Tanu Rajani. For those of you who uh, aren't familiar with Tanu Rajani, Tanu is the name of a, of a, of a calf that's about six months old in New Gordon, and Rajani means queen. So I'm translating, I've kind of made up this name, Tanu Rajani. <laughs> Uh, it probably doesn't exist anywhere, but uh, one of the meanings of, of Tanu is queen. So the name means queen of the children. Tanu Rajani. Tanu Rajani. Queen of the children. So uh, I'll, I'll give you a paper with all this information on it. Your, the, what the meaning of the name is. And uh, like that. And like I said, later on today, uh, the, this initiation will be further sanctified in a, um, in a, in a kind of uh, uh, fire sacrifice. And uh, 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 Shama Manahar is going to sit on it because he, is, he was getting his second, he got his second initiation from uh, Kadamba Kanana, but he wasn't able to sit on the sacrifice. So he's going to be there this afternoon. It's going to be sometime be around 3 o'clock. Yeah. So that's pretty much what, what, uh, what we're going to do today. And I, I'm sorry to disappoint you if you were expecting a class, but uh, Ambika has, has, has done a lot of research, a lot of careful research, and she's going to be giving the class uh, this afternoon. So, Hare Krishna. And these are the, the additional sort of uh, promises. And I'll give you the paper with your name on it also. So thank you very much for uh, being here and being part of this. And uh, it's, a, it's a kind of auspicious day. Uh, I, I was in New York in, in 26 Second Avenue when, when uh, Prabhupada announced in the morning that we were going to fast. And I thought, well, this is pretty austere because I wasn't expecting to fast for 24 hours or 12 hours or whatever it was, or 18 hours. But uh, he said, if, and if you can't do it, you can, you can have some sugar candy. Well, I looked all over for sugar candy in New York, and there wasn't any such thing. I think we know it as raw candy. It's that kind of crystalline, transparent stuff that's very sweet. It's like crystallized sugar. Anyway, uh, I had someone go out and try to find it, and I was very unlucky, but I got a, a, a candy called Lifesavers. I don't know if you're familiar with Lifesavers, but it's, at least it's candy and it's sugar. But, of course, there's flavors. There's, there's lemon Lifesavers, and there's... Strawberry lifesavers. So, uh, at an inopportune or an opportune moment, I was, you know, in, in a thoughtful pose, slipping these lifesavers into my mouth because I was trying to fast, and it was really, really hard to fast for that many hours. But anyway, somehow or other, it happened. But nowadays, uh, uh, some of you are fasting, some of you are not fasting. It's it's a more common thing. And I was fasting up till about three years ago, and I just. I mean, I'm 80 years old now, and it just it became very painful to do. So I'm, 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 I've given it up. But, but uh, there's different types of fasting. Uh, there's fasting from everything, including water, which is a very difficult thing to do. So I started taking water towards the end of my uh, uh, fasting days, and uh, that was it. So uh, come back again at 3 o'clock. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. And if anyone wants this talk that I gave, in, uh, it's here. <laughs> very, uh, very embarrassing moment. And uh, a few other people had to talk too. I think Prajumna and Jamuna and Hansaduda, they were asked to talk. And they, they spoke more eloquently than I did, actually. But anyways, come back at three and, and uh, see the... And, and what time is the drama okay, taking place, Martha? Seven? At 7.15? And, and uh, they've had many rehearsals, so it's, it's worth a watch. I would highly recommend it. And all the actors are, are this time, are adults rather than children. So that's, except for Uma. Yeah, who's not very old. She's under one year old, I think. What's her age now? She's almost one. Almost one. Huh? Hema. Okay. Hare Krishna. Thank you.